recommended to calibrate the printer whenever you're changing your media type. For most media types, auto calibration is adequate. The ZT600 can be set to automatically calibrate on power up or head closed. This can be set in the printer's menu. In order to place the image in the correct position on the media, you must first identify the features in the media you'd like the printer to detect. Second, you must make sure the sensors in your printer are set up to detect those features. Most media contains features that identify the start position. First, select your media sensing feature in the menu. If your media has a gap, also referred to as a web, or has holes or notches, select Gap Notch in the menu. If your media has a black mark on the underside of the media, select Mark in the menu. If your media is a continuous roll with no start position features, select Continuous in the menu. Please note that the label length on continuous media is controlled by the file you're printing. Second, set the sensor type in the menu. For black mark media, set the sensor type to Reflective. For all other types of media, set the sensor to Transmissive. Now, load the media and ribbon. Make sure the media and ribbon are fully inserted. If you have any media handling operations, such as a peel, liner take up, cutter, or rewind, please calibrate in those print modes. If you're using media with a gap, also referred to as a web, or hole, or notch, you'll want to make sure your sensor is in the optimal position to identify that feature. Move the sensor to a location where the light passes through the notch or hole. Try to avoid locating the sensor under the hole or notch radius. If your media is not a simple rectangle, such as a circular shape, locate the sensor over the leading part of the label. If you're using media with print on the underside, try to locate the sensor away from that print so the sensor does not get a false reading. After you have the sensor properly located, close the print head and press the pause button to continue. The printer is now calibrating. When the calibration is complete, the label should stop in the correct location. You can check that your calibration was successful by pressing the feed button and ensuring your media feeds to the correct location. If you're having difficulty calibrating your printer consistently, it's recommended you perform a manual calibration. If you're using special or custom media and having issues calibrating, please make sure it meets the media specification. If this video is helpful and you'd like to see more videos, please like this video.